Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahshai, Bahasham Harakodash, double honors to the elders, the apostles of great men, so that surely do well. Salutation to the Akim that pushed this word out in sincerity and in truth. Brother Lamar, once again from GMS Trinidad, I just want to do a little video, hope it edifying towards you, hopefully. Like, Alright, this is 2018, the uh, prophecy, and the name of this video is um to remember who you are, you have to go back. Right, the reason why I'm going on do this video is because you're going on it have people in Christianity who I was speaking to some jovial witness at the time and I was telling them in order to understand certain things of the Bible and who salvation is for, you have to go back, right? Because they're saying that salvation is for everybody. But I tell them that to go back and they say no, then don't go back. Right? They they continue going forward. And you know, you know something. Sometimes, if you just continue going forward, 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 you'll fall off a precipice, right? When you're playing football, sometimes you have to know about playing back, right? Because that is a defensive play, and going back is a defense. Because, hey, when you fall long and you hit your head and you have Alzheimer's, is the first thing the person that's trying to do is bring back a memory. Memory is is the things that passed on, the former things. Alright, so I just bring in some um precepts here. Hope it edifying towards you, hopefully like alright about going back. Alright. This is Malachi chapter three um verse sixteen. It says then they that feared Yahweh spake often one to another, and Yahweh hook and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared Yahweh, and that taught upon his name. Alright, A. Hey. Because why? Um these these people, right? Basically, hey, they wanted to know about Yahweh. They wanted to know about the God of heaven and earth. And the most high Yahba Shem Yahshai, right, open up their the their, their remembrance to this Bible, which meaning what the understanding of this book. Alright. They open the understanding of this book. So, right. That is why going into the book of Luke, um, chapter 24, it says, Then he opened, um, opened their understanding. All right. Um, of the scriptures. So, you see, the, the thing about it is, is very, is very part, is very important to go back because going back, that is your, your, your building blocks or your foundation. To remember who you are, who you is, you have to go back, because you you didn't just born yesterday and have the knowledge that you have. You was a baby first. Hey, sometimes some people who end up in certain accidents, however the case is, they have to start back to learn how to walk. All right, they have to start back to learn how to walk and and stuff. Because when we came here in captivity, we forgot who we was. Alright, history, the, the so-called white man, he, he polluted history so much. But the thing is, you have to go now and decipher what is true from what is false. You have to, you have to go back into that same history. Alright, this is um the book of Baruch. I just saw Slack, I have to go into our next Bible with the Apocrypha. Alright. This tablet is really something else when it's ready, you know. Right? Um, Book of Baruch, chapter 2, verse 31. Right? Um, and verse 30, I'll start off verse 30, right? It says, For I know that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Alright? So in the land of the captivity, they shall remember themselves. What do I mean? They once forgot who they were. Alright? Because one thing that you learn is that certain zookeepers or, or, or people, you, you, hunter, you, catch, you catch a lion from a young age as a cub. You're not going to tell a lion that he is a lion that is one, a, 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 a fierce beast. Because you're afraid that. Right? That lion knowing that is a lion. So guess what? You have to trick that lion to make it feel it's a whole scare. 
All right, so that is what the so-called white man did because we, the Hebrew Israelites, were, were the kings of the earth. We was the most fierce people on the face of the earth because of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, our power. All right, so long as we are keeping that 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 form of righteousness, so long as we are doing the things that is pleasing unto Him. All right, but the most high soul us in the in the hand of our enemies. So what the so-called white man did. He took he took our our nationality from us, calling us African specs, natives Americans, all these kind of things. So we'll forget who we was. We'll forget our heritage, and our heritage is um Yahweh Shem Shai. Our heritage is the land of Israel. All right. Um, I'm going on and shall know that I am the Lord their God, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear. All right. So that, that is going back into the scriptures. That that eyes and um heart to hear is meaning it's to understand. To understand the things that are going on around us. So you have to go back. The reason why we ended up here in slavery. Alright? We have to go back to see what was the reason why. Going back to the pursuing to the curses in Deuteronomy 28. If you want to know how a house is built, alright, you have to go to the to the foundation. All right, and you know something the beautiful thing about the Bible the Bible because me and a brother are speaking the Bible is the only book that tell you how the, the, the foundations of the earth how the earth was created no other book will tell you that all right but are you going to the Baran Gita the Egyptian book of the dead or whatever the case is the Quran does try to tell you certain things because really and truly Muhammad is a thief all right matter of fact I don't even think the um reading the quran i'll have to go back into it, it. reading the quran the quran never tell about the foundations that you to tell about adam and eve and, and stuff but in genesis it tell you in the beginning all right um all right just an example i'm going to genesis 1 1 all right it says in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth and the earth was with all form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of um, power moved upon the face of the waters all right so look at telling you here how the how, what, what was going on was taking place all right it, it come like hey you see this house here a person just sit down and, and write in tuesday um at 7 a.m right i had about 12 um 12 men coming to work right they, they, they pick up the axe wherever the cases they walk on the field they, they dig the foundation how, how much inches deep you understand they clear it out with shovel pickaxe and whatever the case is and this is the bible the bible tell about the foundation of the earth no other by no other book you know basically tell you tell you about that you understand so you have to go in the past so anybody who's saying they just keep on going forward and they're not looking back where is a crap or something only a crap don't look back all right and for those who don't know where is a crap a crap is um it related to frogs say in Trinidad or, or, or a toad, you understand? Only crap don't look back. You understand? You you have to look back to the past and, and the scriptures going on to tell you that, right? Second Chronicles. Um Second Chronicles two um six verse thirty seven. Because if we don't remember ourselves as a people, we'll never be saved. We'll always be in one place or, or in one situation for the rest of our life. You understand? You have to remember who he is in order to, to go forward. You can't just go forward. You didn't just... You're 25 years old. You didn't come out of your mother womb 25 years old and uh, start at 25 and just go 26, 27, 28. That's madness. You have to go back in the past. You're a few days old. Then few weeks, then few months, then you're two years old, three years old, until you reach 25. Remember, or you start to work, all these kind of things. You know, the way how people speak now these days, is like they don't think before they speak. We don't go back. We don't go back. We go forward. And that is why Christianity is the way how, how it is. Because, you know, I was doing some research with Christianity today and it was a mistranslation. Going into Acts, they said they was first called Christian at at Antioch they would never Christians they said they won't call Christians matter of fact before when they go into the issue they said they used to call them Nazarenes or, or disciples or, or saints 
they were never called Christians. That 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 was just um not even a mistranslation. It was just a um a mistake. And then when it go into it, all right, it is um. It had people who were called Christians long before, long before that. You understand? This is Second Chronicles six verse thirty seven. It says, "Yet if they bethink themselves in the land whether they are carried captive, right? It says, yet if they bethink themselves in the land whether they are carried captive, who were carried captive, right? Weren't it the Negroes, the Latinos, and the natives that were carried captives? I right, just want to get that in our next book just to look up the word um." We think, all right, in Second Chronicles, um, six and thirty-seven. Oh gosh, I don't press twenty-seven. But anyway, I could just go down, right? Six thirty-seven. It says, "Yet if they bethink themselves, right, right, goes back to the Hebrew word shower. All right, a primitive root to turn back. You understand? So you're looking back transitively." Or intransitively, literally, literally or figuratively. <clears throat> Alright, so that, um, not necessarily with the idea of return to the starting point. Alright, generally to retreat often adverbially again. You understand? King James Version usage, return again, turn back, we restore, bring, render, answer, recompense, recover, deliver, put, withdraw, requit, miss, right? You understand? So, um, yeah, to turn back. Shawab. You understand? It says here now, going on, yet if they bethink themselves in the land where they are carried captive, and turn and pray unto thee in the land of their captivity, which why, that is the reason why we, we face the East. The Muslims also pick up that custom from us. Right, Muhammad, as I say, he's a big thief. Right? We have sinned, we have done amiss, and have dealt wickedly. If they return, right, which will also go back, I believe, to the Hebrew word shawab. Right, Hebrew, shawab. Right, if they return to thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their captivity, whether they have carried them captives, and pray toward their land which thou givest unto their fathers, and toward the city which thou hast chosen, and toward the house which I have built for their name. Then hear thou from heaven, from the heavens, and even from their dwelling places, their prayer and their supplication, and maintain their cause, and forgive thy people which have sinned against thee. I say the most I know going and forgive um you you people and you do you people don't know who you, who you was. You're just going ahead, and that is the thing. You just can't go ahead. Alright? Sometimes you have to turn back. Sometimes you have to mash brakes. Slow the roll. You understand? Next precept, this is Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Right? This is Deuteronomy 32, verse 37. And verse 7, Salakia. Yeah. It says. Remember the days of old. Alright? Old is what? All that things that pass. Right? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy fathers and they will and he will shoot thee, thy elders, and they will tell thee. And what the elders gonna tell you? The elders gonna tell you um about hey when their their parents was in, in captivity. They have their former slave masters. You understand? You understand? They will tell you about all these kind of things. They will, they will tell you, um, some of them will tell you, well, you know, they, their parents came from this country, like France or Portugal, with this slave master, whether the surname is Hansons, Olivier's, right, Williams, or whatever the case is, all right? So our forefathers was in slavery. And, and didn't the, the, the Bible prophesy about slavery in Deuteronomy 28? Right, Deuteronomy um twenty eight verse sixty eight, because that is how we this is how our forefathers came here. Right, and Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, Egypt arms um, synonymous with with slavery. 
by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. Won't we save um won't we sell for bondmen and bondwomen? Kunta Kinte Django. Right? All these movies. We were sold into captivity. I never see a East Indian being sold in, in, in the um 1600s, 1700s, 1800s. I never see a, a white man being sold into captivity. I can't remember no 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 um slave movie like that. I can't remember watching um and seeing any Chinese being sold into slavery, especially by the hands of uh, um by the so-called white man. We we the Negroes, Latinos and natives were sold into slavery. Alright? So it's an important thing to go back to find out your heritage, to you find out your, your nationality. Alright? You you have to know who you are. You have to know where you come from in order to know where you're going. Because the most I have Shamir Shai promise a kingdom unto a, 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 a peculiar people. And if those peculiar people don't know who they are, they can never receive the treasures. Because why? They won't go faith. They won't go faith. Right? So henceforth, they'll be minus in faith. Because um, the scripture talk about Abraham. Right? Having hope. And the thing about Abraham having hope is, he, he worked towards it. If you people don't know who you're, where you're where you come from if you people do go back into the past all right you will never look towards the promises that the most i have given unto you the most i promised abraham that he will multiply his seeds as the stars of heaven and you know what he did he went and he acted upon it he didn't just say well eh, eh, yeah I, and that's the important thing about also having an imagination all right Next precept, Isaiah 46, verse 9. And it, re um, and it reads, Remember the former things of old, for I am um, power, and there is none else. I am power, and there is none like me. You understand? You see it there again? The most I tell you, remember the days are old. You understand? Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. Say, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. You understand? So the most I say, remember the old days, remember the things I used to do in the past. That is how you're going to know what's coming in the future. That is how you're going to go forward. Because without the most I counsel on you to tell you what to do, you will fall into a ditch. That is why you have to go in the back. That is why you have to go back. You understand it's very is very important sometimes you have to, you as a as an individual you have to look back at the former sins and the things that they used to do in the past you understand look at your mistakes and say you're not going to do it again because if you look back at your mistakes you're going to continue making the same mistake over and over again and that is what you don't want to be doing is making the same mistake over and over again because you'll be considered a mad person you're looking for a difference all right and still doing the same thing over and over you look back analyze all right i do this this way and this was the result let me try another way to see if i'm going and get a different result you're looking for you're looking to for um number 10 right but you're adding seven and two you're adding five and um um five and four You'll never get you'll never get ten. You have to move the front now. You have to add five with five and seven with three in order to get ten. There are different ways to get ten. But you have to look back. You have to go into the past. And that is the importance. Alright, so when, when I actually heard these Christians and them use that term, we don't go back. We only go forward. Then you'll never understand the Bible. You as a person, as an individual, you'll never understand the secrets of the Bible. Because the Bible is like a puzzle. Alright? But the thing is, the Bible wasn't originally written in English. Right? So, it was it was translated from the Hebrew or the Greek. And Latin. So, you have to, in order to understand what the narrators were saying, you have to go back into the language they was originally speaking. Or what the translator translated. In order for you to get a peculiar understanding. 
if you go back into the the prologue of um Sirach in the apocrypha right which apocrypha also means um hidden all right they say hey forgive us for we come some short of some words because the thing that was uttered into the hebrew tongue don't have the same force in another language so this is why you know you have to go back into the hebrew tongue hebrew going back to the hebrew word iba or iba meaning past the ancient days the ancient language this now we're gonna have the force because the original all right have the strength that is why going back into the scriptures and all a hey, say hey your firstborn son is his strength hey the bible that I, I, I basically now pick up there it say hey if it is old it is true right if it is new then it is a lie you understand if it ain't new if it ain't old then it ain't true if it if it is new right if it is new it ain't true and if it's old it ain't new some something along that line all right so you have to go back into the old the old things the old things are very important you understand hosea 6 verse 1 and 2 right Hosea chapter 6 1 and 2 right it says come and let us return unto Yahweh so you have to go back to the ancient days for he had torn and he will heal us he had smitten and he will bind us up so when you see these kind of bruises and the one who gave you the kind of bruises you have to go back because only he can heal you right after two days will he revive us in the third day he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight meaning what we we going and start to do the things that are pleasing unto him so you just can't follow any and every doctrine right going with every wind and think the most i going to heal you because it has certain things the most i love and there are certain things that he hates so you thinking the gospel is just going on house to house and preaching the gospel hey the scriptures speak against that it's a go out to the highways and the byways and bid them to the marriage Hey, as as me and the, the um a person was talking, you don't know if somebody a man putting down a walk on his wife in the morning. You don't know if they now come home from work in the morning, right? And 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 they tired and you come wrong morning, morning. That is why it has some people that say these people cannot come to the house. As I Elano was saying, but you're cooking, you know. And they persistent with it. I can't. I can't study with you today. I'm doing something. I'm busy. The scriptures speak against that. You could be annoying people. But when you're out on the highways and the byways and you're preaching. You understand? And somebody here. Because the scriptures talk about in Micah chapter 6 verse 9. The man of understanding when I hear. When this person here and it starts to make sense to them. And the spirit starts to descend upon them. That person now, in, in that sense, will invite you to their house. But other than that, it come like, if the person ain't invited to the house, they come like you just, your bold face. Where is a thief or something? What happened? What happened? All right. Deuteronomy 28, verse 45 to 46. <laughs> Right here where it says, it says, more, uh, more over all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he command thee. You understand? So it said these curses, what people us normally say, hey, black people curse. You, that, that is like a, 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 a widespread thing, especially in the Caribbean. When sometimes you, a, a, a youth man gets shot, um, shoot down, or you hear two two black people arguing, the first thing an next black person passing by, but black people curse, you like black people curse, we're going down with black people. But some dummy, some dummy will go and say, hey, the, um, the curse is a ham. Yes, ham was a dark skinned person, but all the sons of Noah was dark. Because if you go back into the Hebrew word Adam, or Adama means rich dark soil, or from soil. The soil dark, the soil brown. You understand? It's different shades are bro. You understand? 
so all these curses go back into Deuteronomy 28. All these curses fit us like 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 clothes. Like if it's with literal skin. Hear this, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. And watch this. Right? Right? And for a sign and for a wonder. Right here, wait, see. When you look up the, the word for sign, right? It goes back to this um Hebrew awath. They have here oath. But it is awat. It says probably from um the Hebrew songs two two five in the sense of appearing a signal literally or figuratively as a flag, beacon, monument, omen, prodigy, a evidence. So these curses going and be upon you Negroes, Latinos and natives for evident token, right? Because I think they have here token, right? For evident token that you people are the children of God. That you people are the children of Israel. Right? From Judah coming all the way down to um, Ephraim. You people are the, the 12 tribes of Israel. So in order to, you have to go back. You have to go into the past. I'll keep on saying, you'll never know where you're going. Unless you know where you're coming from. You didn't born yesterday at the age of 25, 26, 27 and just go on at 28. You must have a starting point. Right? It must have a starting point. Okay? It says, um, right? And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Alright? Or, or, or for until. You understand? Until these things come upon thee. Right? This, this shall be a sign unto you people. Alright? But you know what we're wrong with we people? We don't, we don't like to read. We, we don't like to reason, we don't like to understand, we don't like to research. We just take where everything with somebody take us and fill our cup with that. And when we realize it, they're just filling our cup with poison. You understand? Don't let that person fill your cup with poison because poison does kill. Right? Poison does kill. Um, just one more precept I want to bring here in Leviticus um, 26. Right, so I believe it's around verse 20. Um, let me say 28 now. Baba Kasha Salak. Right, um, right, this is Leviticus 26, verse 40. If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which they trespass against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me. How, how, how it is you, you confessing the, the iniquity of fathers? Because this is a key point. All right, they have to go back into the past. Ask the fathers, and they shall tell thee. Go back into the scriptures, see where is the sins that your fathers commit. Which is, you have to go back to Genesis to the book of Deuteronomy to know what is the laws because sin is the transgression of the law. Right? Sin, sin also brings both to iniquity, guilt. You understand? We are guilty of breaking all 613 commandments. Some people think it's just 10 commandments. No. There's 613 commandments. Well, each one of these commandments is basically a breakdown of each of the ten. And the ten commandments is a breakdown of two simple commandments. Love the most high, Yahweh by Shami Shai, thy power with all thy heart, and thy neighbor as thyself. Upon these two rest all the rest of the commandments. Because when you fulfill when you could um, execute these commandments, you're actually fulfilling these two main um, commandments. So you have to go back. In order to confess the sins, the sins of your fathers. You understand? And that also I have walked contrary unto them. And have brought them into the land of their enemies. If then their uncircumcised hearts be humble. And they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity. How are you accepting the punishment of your iniquity? You have to go back again. You understand? Then will I remember, so the Mosai himself will go back, he will remember, right? My covenant with Jacob, look how old, look how many thousands of years we're talking about. Roughly, I believe, around 4,000 years. This is about 4,000 years, I believe, he, he's, he's speaking about here. Alright, then will I, if I'm not mistaken, right? And just forgive me with the date, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, you could always research certain things for yourself, right? Then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham. So you see he going back because Abraham is the father of um, Isaac and Isaac is the father of Jacob. So you see he going back. 
he went back to Jacob, then he went back to Isaac, and then he went back to Abraham, the initial, the initial person he make the promise with, which is Abraham. Initial mean the first or the starting point, you understand? Then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with um, Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember and I remember the land you understand and the land was there before who Abraham you understand so the most I and all Shane he does go back the scriptures say um in the book of Ecclesiastes I believe 3 and 9 the most I require the things that are past you understand the land also shall be left of them and shall enjoy her sabbaths while she lie desolate with them and they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity because even because they despise my judgments and because their soul abhorred my statutes and yet for all that when they be in the land of their enemies i will not cast them away neither will i abhor them to destroy them utterly and to break my covenant with them for i am yahweh their power but i will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors you understand the older heads right whom i brought forth out of the land of egypt in the sight of the heathen that i might be their god i am yahweh these are the statutes and judgments and laws which the lord made between him and the children of israel in mount sinai by the hand of moses so there's a very important thing to go back into history Go back into ancient records. Romans 15 verse 4. One of my favorite precepts. The things that were written before time. Were written for our learning. But I guess we as a people. We just don't like to learn. We like to stick up in with iniquity. You understand? You have to, if you go forward. I mean you're going forward for the best. But look back. Sometimes you have to look back. You understand? Like a, a person say. He trusts in, in Jesus so much that he don't have to look back. So you you just don't use your every mirror, brother. And just go driving. You're going to end up in an accident. You understand? You know? And with that, I want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahushai. Bashem Harakwakurash. Double honors to all the elders, the apostles of great minister. I surely do well. Salutation to all the Akim that push this word in sincerity and in truth. This is Brother Lamar once again from James Trinidad. Right, saying Shalom, this is 2018, the year of prophecy. Right, Shalom, Kalakian.